great uh, that you have joined us because we are doing algebraic fractions and um, very quickly a summary yeah you can get a question where you're asked to combine two algebraic fractions or you can be confronted with a question where you have to simplify it yeah and so far we have only been doing combining them and in my next videos I will show you how to simplify them yeah and we said well if you want to add or subtract if you want to combine fractions then the denominator needs to be the same and I showed you in my previous videos how to do that um, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker now. I'm not going to explain the basics, so please make sure you've seen the previous videos in this playlist. Yeah, but I can see my my um, my denominators as they are are not the same. So I have to manipulate the situation slightly. Okay, so I can work with it. Second thing I'm going to tell myself now: there is a negative side, negative side in the middle. So I'm going to be extra careful. Okay, in a minute I'll show you why. Okay. Now, a plus two, the denominator here, a plus three there. I showed you my previous video. You can't just do plus one here to make it the same. No, we are always finding a common multiple, yeah, if we are finding equivalent fractions. And this fraction I'm gonna multiply by this denominator, and that fraction I'm gonna multiply by this denominator, okay? So I'm gonna do times, I put some brackets around that, a plus three, yeah? But of course also the denominator a plus 3 and this fraction times a plus 2 yeah and this is all explained in the previous videos okay a plus 2 okay what is that going to look like then well I'm gonna start with my denominators yeah and put some brackets around everything now a plus 2 times a plus 3 there's no reason to expand that you can just leave it like it is okay a plus 2 times a plus 3 yeah denominators are the same now but what about the numerators? 4 times a is 4a, 4 times 3, that will be 12, and 3 times a, 3a, and 3 times 2, that will be 6. Yeah, any silly mistakes? 4a and 12, no, 3a and 6, no, that's it. The denominators are the same now, so now I can combine them, a plus 2 times a plus 3, Use your mouse finger, especially with that negative sign. Be careful. It is 4a minus 3a. Now, most of you all have that one correct, but it's also 12 minus 6. Okay, so plus 6. And some of you will do 12 plus 6, yeah, which is 18. And that will be wrong, yeah, because there's a negative sign there. Yeah, it's 12 minus 6. Now, especially if rather than a plus 6, it would say a minus 6 here, yeah? so for a different question. So then you will get 4a minus 3a, which is a, and 12 minus minus 6 yeah? for a different question. So, especially with that negative sign in the middle, be careful, use your finger. Yeah? I am 34 years old, I am a maths teacher, but I use my finger still. But I also hardly make any silly and unnecessary mistakes uh, with these types of questions, okay? So I want you to do the same thing. All right, explainingmaths.com, you'll find loads of resources, okay? My next videos uh, now will be about simplifying algebraic fractions, okay? So move on to the next um, video and like and share my videos, guys, if they were useful so I can help your friends too. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.